Hi, it's Lenny here from Lens Crafty Life and this last Saturday there was a craft fair here in the area and it's a craft fair that's uh, only there for twice a year so in March and in October and since my birthday is coming up beginning of April, the 9th of April I allowed myself to go there and see if I could get some uh, some more birthday goodies because the way we do it in my family is that uh, for my husband as well as for my parents and my sister I just get some money and I just basically buy my own presents. We've been doing it for years like that and I like it that way, they like it that way because obviously I know what I want. And uh, so I have a great time picking things out from them and they don't have to pick things out of which they don't know uh, if I actually like it. So I think that works really well. So this is one of the things that I got there. It's a really very pretty die cut, I think. And um, it's a swirl round frame and there's this in the middle. I'm not sure if it, it looks maybe a little bit like two. It's, it's like two. Uh, oh, it's a heart with two love birds here in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. It's like two little love birds, which is very cute. Now the original price was 9.95 in euros and I the red dot basically meant it was only a quarter of the price. So I paid only 250 for this, which I think is really, really nice. So that was a good deal. So at this craft fair, there are um, mainly shops that sell things off uh, brand new or you know on sale but there's usually also some um, uh, private people who just send off their craft stuff so which usually they have the, even the better deals then I saw this die cut and actually I'm not really into fairies myself but I thought this was a very pretty die and I know a lot of ladies out here are into fairies so I thought I'd pick this up anyway, original price $5.95 uh, and I paid €2.50 and you can see the little girl and here are her wings. So it's a, it's a fairy in, uh, you know, with flowers. Maybe here you can see it a little bit better. This is the image of the fairy. Oh, I'm not getting that in focus. Well, anyway. So I thought that was uh, quite pretty still, so that will be nice for my card making. Then I had this die cut and I thought this was really nice. I have a large um, chandelier die cut from Tim Holtz, but this is a smaller one and original price $7.50. I paid $3.50, so I thought that was a good deal. Basically, I got this time uh, just paper crafting things. Um, I, there wasn't much of material. I did uh, went to uh, look for some flowers, but like little uh, flowers to use on cards and other projects, but uh, there were not really good deals out there. You know, and you know me, I work at a charity shop, so I just want good deals and otherwise I just won't buy it and I'll, I'll just wait for other good deals. So this is another Tim Holtz alterations, movers and shapers. And it's to make this pocket envelope, which I really like. So the original price was 18 euros 95 and I paid half price. So I paid 9.50 for this, which I think was a really good deal. So I'm very happy with that. Then there was this other stand again from a, sh uh, from a shop, but they had some baskets where they had everything half price. So, and there were lots of paper, paper blocks in there. So I really like this. This is like a brocante Christmas. It's like a vintage Christmas. So all these lovely papers in there, 24 sheets, two-sided. So this will be really nice to use for Christmas cards and other makes. Again, this is a uh, Christmas design with a little birdhouse here which is lovely i think and there's some little skates on there this is a paper with different kind of images pictures so that's lovely oh and the price of these <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> just a tickle in my throat <coughs> sorry this the original price was 3.95 so I paid two euros. This was three fifty. So I paid one seventy five. 
so that was really good this is a vintage line with vintage papers which I think are very pretty and lots of pretty papers in here with some pastel colors it's like a map rose these are lovely papers again so really like these and this was 4.95 so I paid 250 this is really a lovely pack it's a spring garden and there's all these lovely pastel colored papers in there so I think they are really pretty with the flowers and the, all the soft colors with leaves and here's some flowers again I don't know if you can see that so I think and here with some butterflies so that's lovely there's 30 sh 36 sheets three sheets per design this was 650 euros so I paid 325 then this is one of my favorite favorite um, packages with papers and it's called rose garden guess what I like roses yay <laughs> and it's all these gorgeous gorgeous papers in soft pastels again with lots of roses on here hope I'm in focus there you go this one with like a, a rose border so lots of pretty papers to use and again this is 36 sheets three per design again 650 and i paid 325 and then this is my all-time favorite the wedding garden i wish they had it in a a larger like an a5 size but unfortunately they don't because i wanted to use this to make my diary my year's calendar basically and uh, because i absolutely love this it's absolutely stunning i think these papers they're so beautiful look at all these pastel colors again with flowers it would go well with the rose garden actually these two they're all similar in style again 650 a page 325 and then she also had some embossing folders i'm not sure if you can see this this has like these blossom like it's like cherry blossom all over which i thought was very pretty and it was 6.95 so i paid 350 for that and this one i love look at that it's a gorgeous bird cage hanging from a branch and with these little flowers in the background i think that's very very pretty that was 750 so i paid 375 for that so i thought those were great deals then there was these ladies she didn't have a shop it's just uh, her private collection because she was just you know not gonna craft anymore she was selling everything off that she had i think she had tons of stuff and she had this glass um, cutting board which is very nice to work on as well because you can use it with uh, uh, you know when you first cut you can just keep it as a background to work on and you can spray inks on your cards and wipe it clean and you can work with glue and wipe it clean so it's great to just have a backdrop to work on and I paid 750 minus 25 percent because this lady she just made I had uh, I had quite a stack that I bought with her which I'll show you now and in the end she gave me an extra 25 percent off which was really great and online I found this one it's the Cutterby glass mat for about 40 dollars now into euros you have to take about 15 percent off so I thought I had a great deal on this. And then this lady also had these a few flowers that I got for only 20 euro cents. And she had these two clock charms, which I really like. There's two of them in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Also for 20 cents. Then she had this. It's... Um, it's just a circle cutter which will be great to cut out like uh, for the background of flowers to stick underneath your flowers some circles <coughs> excuse me and it's actually one and a half inch for 250 sorry <coughs> I need to get some water <coughs> mm. okay that's better 
that. I'm sorry for that. Then this lady also had some <coughs> of the larger cuts and this is to make cards. This is <coughs> the C6 heart card heart and it makes this very pretty heart card. <coughs> now I hope um, this will stop soon. Then this one it's card ornate from C6 and it has this scalloped edge and I made a very pretty card with this die cut for um, to go with my entry for um, for Avi and she is Avi fully do she has a fairy wall hanging or gnomes or flower wall hanging you can make for her and uh, last week in my charity shop I found these very pretty fairy images <coughs> so I decided to make this for her now the die cuts that I used and this die cut and also in the inside this die cut I all got in a die cut swap from Debbie Vignola so thanks Debbie for these and I think they look gorgeous on this card so this is the card that I made for Evie to go with my entry for her challenge which I still have to make so I'm really happy with this one I think it makes gorgeous cards then I got this one as well I don't know if you can see it it's Tim Holtz alterations paid five euros minus 25 percent and it's a, a dress form with a spool and here it's got a button now I love dress form so I'm very happy with this that was a really good deal oh the larger ones basically and at another stand I had already bought some of these this lady had them for 10 euros and I said well the other stand they were 750 and then she said okay you can have them for 750 as well and in the end then she still took the 25% of everything that I got so this is all from the same lady this is again Tim Holtz alterations it's the uh, it's the tag now obviously it's been used it's second hand but I don't mind as long as it works I'm fine with that so this is the larger tag it's got the two little I don't know if you call these these things that you can cut out and then decorate the little hole with and there's a small oval frame here or tag and a, um, a rectangular frame so that's really nice I paid 7.50 minus 25 percent then she had these heart die cuts for 1 euros 50 again minus the 25 percent I paid and there's several in here which is really nice Oh, this, oh, I didn't even see that. This one has two lovebirds on there again. I think it's probably little swans. That's really cute. And then there's this one. This one is decorated. And then the larger one is decorated as well. It's decorated edge. And then just this smaller one. So that's really good for one euro fifty. And then I got 25% off. The same with these. This is just a set. I think these are spellbinders even, so that's normally a very expensive set. 150 again, I got 25% off. Then she had this gorgeous stamp with a rose, and it says postcard, and I absolutely love that. And I paid 350 and got 25% off again. <coughs> then I'd been looking for this, the Tim Holtz alterations, this box for 6.50 well minus 25 percent <coughs> and this is for the loose alterations that you can it's um the movers from the movers and shapers series you need this box and i already have a, a smaller dress form so i still needed this box to uh because it's magnetized and you can put it on here and then move it through your cutting machine I got the big shot so this was very expensive new I think maybe 20 or even uh, 20 euros or something so she had this and I thought that was a wonderful price 650 minus a 25 percent so I'm very happy with that and then she had some beautiful paper papers as well this one 250 and I got the 25% off 
It says here seven gypsies collections from the journey. So I think, and these are double sided. I think these are very pretty. You see some pictures here. I'm not sure if it's really gypsy, but uh, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. All these pretty images. So I'm very happy with this. It will be lovely for cards or journaling. I haven't done a journal yet, but I would love to make a journal sometime. One day I will. So I'm getting some nice papers to use in that. So that was lovely. A good find again. Then this is a larger block, 8 by 8 inch, 48 sheets. And uh, originally, and she says there's only 42, so she used six. And I paid 350 again with a 25% off. This is single sided, but I love these papers as well. Look at that, they're gorgeous. So these will be really nice to use. Again, probably in a scrapbook or a journal or something. I think they're very, very pretty. So that was a really good price, I thought. Then she had this. It's like a little pack with some sheets, eight sheets for one euro. And are these some? No, these are single. So these are large sheets. It's the uh, the A4 size sheets. Some pretty roses. This is like a wool. This I love. I love the sewing theme. Very pretty. And I think she's got two of each. Oh, this is different again. So they're all like these pastel colours, which again, obviously, are my favourite colours. <coughs> so I thought those are very pretty. So again, I got 25% off, so I basically paid only 75 cents for this. And then she had another stack, 16 papers for 60 sheets for one euros 50 minus the 25 percent and these are have some butterflies on there and i like butterflies too yay so i love this with all the pretty butterflies pastel colors this one here there's butterflies printed in this as well and this one, which is the same as the one on the back, if I'm right. Yeah, so there's two sheets of that. This one, oh, this one has some birds at the bottom. This is a bit bright for me, but I can still use it. Love this one with the roses. This is getting is a bit brighter. And then she got, I think these are the doubles. Yeah, oh, and this one with the violas. A very pretty two sheets of that and this one and this one has very little butterflies on there as well oh and little birds or not no it's just a, I thought there were birds looking at each other but it's a little butterfly that's the bottom of the wing so I thought that was a good deal and then there's uh, 10 sheets of cardboard for 50 cents minus the 25 percent and then lastly from this lady it's 10 sheets of this very shiny um shiny paper i think they're uh, they're all white so i thought those will be great to um to do uh, to use for die cuts i've seen some other ladies use this kind of paper for die cuts and it's it really looks great so i paid only 75 cents for that in the end then i got some large square envelopes to go with my other cards that I make in the workshop on the Friday morning so it's nice to have some larger square envelopes didn't have those yet then let me see okay the last stack and then we're almost done I got some more of these at a different stand stand holder and this is a smaller hard card than the previous one and this one does some extra hearts as well now you can see that my paper was too short so an a4 sized sheet of paper which is the standard 
size of paper here is too small. Now, fortunately, I do have the larger square paper blocks and they are long enough. So I just have to fit the, to uh, cut those papers to, uh, to size. And if I want just white paper, then I just have to buy a large sheet, maybe an A3 and cut it to size. And then this is another one and these were all seven euros fifty. Oh, this was the card heart with hearts from Sizzix. And this is another one. This is the card A2 uh, gatefold with flower silhouette. And that makes this card, which I think is very pretty. Then this one I really like. It's the card heart scallop. You can see that. And they had this um, embossing folder to go with that. So I paid 10 euros for this set. And this is the card that it makes, which I think is absolutely stunning. Really like that. So I think that's very, very pretty. So I can decorate this with maybe a nice image or a banner saying with love or in all sorts of flowers. But I think this is very beautiful. So that will make nice cards. And then I got two more. I got this one. This is the card circle scallop and bow. And it makes this pretty card. Now it does cut an extra an extra bow and on here you can see it has like a, a shape for a square little scalloped card but again my paper was too short the A4, A4 sized paper so I have to use a, an extra piece of paper to get that little card cut out but I thought this was very beautiful again with the embossing folder and I got this set for 10 euros which I thought was great and then the last one <coughs> is to make a little box. <coughs> box with ornate window, which is this die. And it makes this little box. And I think that's a really pretty box. Now it makes the window, so it cuts out this. So you've got a nice label, again, to use on something else. And this is the little box that it makes which I think is very pretty. So I can either, you know, put a piece of paper with some text, print out some nice text or a nice image, put that behind there and embellish it, or even put some acetate behind it and just have like a little window into this little box. So, and it opens like that. So I always like boxes. So I'll probably keep this one and use it in uh, in the price for my challenge and stuff it with goodies again to ship off to the winner. So anyway, so these are all my goodies for my birthday. I'm probably done now <laughs> having spent everybody else's money for my present. So I'm really, really happy with these. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.